Hi guys, uh, this is Fred and you're watching DIY Adventure Channel. Today I'm going to fix the, or oh, recreate the, the clamp for my uh, bandsaw fence. And as you see, there's a like a, a piece of, of metal holding this whole spring together. And it was working very simply, you know, it was just putting the pressure so this could be could apply the pressure against the, the, the against the work table. And it was working fine until until the knob here is broken, you know. So it's not perfect in its construction anyway, because it's sliding on the side a little bit unless you put a lot of pressure on it. But this is loose anyway, so anyway, the small, small, small clamp which was here is just broken day one when I bought it, and uh, I'm not really 100% happy with this machine, but I need it, so I kept it rather than send it back and you know claim the money because there's plenty of them on the market now, roughly from 100 pounds to 250 pounds and they are literally the same could be a little bit stronger motors and this this electric motor has got one third horsepower which is quite weak but it's doing the job so rather than get this one back and try to buy something else and get the same effect uh, how about the cheapest one I'm not going to lie to you and uh, I rather really kept it yeah so in the previous videos you've seen how I used just a piece of wood as a um, fence. So uh, yeah, so today I'm going to recreate it. And I tried to do it from wood and I, I failed. Uh, just a one piece of wood wasn't strong enough. I got some material from work or where a place when I work, they dealing with the plastics. And that's off cut from one of these engineering jobs. And they said, uh, and they're happy if I will take it. And that's polyeth which is very strong material um, has got very low absorption of water practically none and it's uh, has got very good sliding and uh, physical uh, uh, features and uh, it's generally used in the machining yeah machining automotive uh, uh, sector and uh, all kind of productions uh, it's a uh, food grade material so I'm not gonna use it for food anyway, but uh, I never work with plastic except the, the job I do, which is mainly just packing and dispatching and completing the orders, so nothing really important. But uh, I'm gonna try, so this will be for me first time when I'm actually do some kind of machining. I just what I did here, I just I just did trim small trim, so I know it's it's working all right with the saw, and I, I know the what the tools they use in this in this factory. Uh, it's basically in 90% just a simple uh, woodworking tools except the tools they use for the for the bending and shaping which uh, like require the heating up to the special temperatures you know depend on the materials they're using so yeah I'm gonna recreate that clamp for this fence and uh, we'll see if that will be success the next project will be recreate the clamp, uh, the, the handle for the automatic clamps, which snapped. And uh, this is how it looks like after it snapped. And this is how it looks like after I used uh, one of these uh, super glues. But it probably snap again very quickly. So I'm not going to put it back. And because I've got two of them, uh, I just try to see how it looks like inside. Very simple construction anyway, but that will be in the next episode. In this one, I'm going to do this clamp for the fence. And what I did, I did like a wooden uh, prototype, which is not exactly the thing they, they have it because it is rather it was rather like a square shape here than the rounded one and the bow was here so when it was close to the fence I could put it exactly in the center of this small small uh, wheel when I uh, when I draw it so it will be like a straight straight angle here and then gently 
bowed and when it's going to apply it's supposed to this bow is supposed to apply enough pressure for against against that fence so it will have to be drilled inside to allow this this bit go inside and one drill have to be me made across to allow this locking pin be inside of it and you can uh, 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 you can adjust the pressure with this screw so when you lose it you can actually you can actually twist it and it's applying the pressure but you have to hold it here so uh, yeah let's let's crack on we'll see what happened and uh, that will be something new for me and uh, and that's it yeah let's do it so first I will try to make some kind of shape as you see it's very thick material so I will not need to use all of it but I'm trying to use the thinnest point thin enough so I could actually use it and don't waste it so let's say it will be here about one centimeter on ease so it will be here and about 1.5 centimeter when it is applied maybe a little bit more so I will mark it yeah, so it must be here so I'm going to I'm going to drill this first I need I need to cut the slot all the way through so it can actually move up and up 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 and down so get rid of this uh, middle piece somehow and uh, I'll try to use the chisel maybe this is work. I've seen the guys who are using the chisel just the wood chisels use the hammer and uh, it was working fine we'll see So 
I'm going to use the wood chisel to uh, chip the rest of this material off. Let's see. trim it from this side I just started from the wrong point really uh, I thought I need to do the the hole but what I needed to I needed to do the slot uh, in between this piece could move it easily so I think so now it will be alright but this is really try and error. This is the first time when I work with plastic. That's all I do is I, I've just seen the guys at work who, who deal with this. So I'm afraid that this could be not not arc, arc you know, not not bold enough to actually stop the the fence. But let's try. If I will fail, fail this time, I will, I will do another one. Oh. Where's the pin? The pin is here. So let's say again. This is alright. This is alright. Now it's a little bit trickier because there's nothing to hold it together. So. Just give me a sec. I will take. What I do, I just put the piece here and go over it. And there we are. That's why I was afraid enough. This ball is not good enough, you know. I. So, what is happening? It doesn't work exactly. It doesn't work exactly how I want to work because it's supposed to clamp it and apply the clamp. Probably this is supposed to be like a straight angle, but uh, I find out it will be good as well when you turn it that. You can move it, set on the right position, apply it, and just twist it, and it's not going to move, no chance. So I'm happy how it is and uh, just what I need to do, I need to secure this, this pieces. So you see it's a little bit, I got this the right position, it's a little bit too wide in here but that's alright. Next time when I'm going to do it, it will be narrow and this will be much smaller because actually Actually, you know what? I'm gonna check it. I'm gonna check it the old one. I'm gonna check it the old one because I think I think it can actually work because I changed the principle of the mechanism, which is now twisting, not applying the pressure. So let me disconnect that first, and I will lose that. Sorry, guys, you cannot see this. I will lose that. I'll remove this. No. So this is not bended. Damn it. Thank you. 
third hand to help me. All right. So actually, this would be working the same principle, so I can spin it. And that would be all right. This is small enough. Uh, maybe I'll count a little bit this this two pieces here because they won't be on my way. This camera. Sorry for the quality of the video, but uh, as I'm saying, I'm working a very how to say calculated today. Uh, but uh, I think now be that better. Reason. That's not the way. But this is very, how to say, um, work in progress action. All right. Okay. So when I start beautiful. But it is working now. And let me just put this how much do I do I need it for this one? Roughly this and that, okay. Uh, right. So to just bend one of these corners. can put this one from my So this is definitely not full off, and uh, it will not hurt me as well. It's just a nice shaped, rounded piece of. Let's see how does it work in action. See, the zero is actual zero. is not exactly showing in the zero so I need to adjust this ruler but the thing is I can measure the I can measure the, the thickness for example I don't know, five centimeters so five centimeters I can set up this here not going to move. 
So I will get the same distance, which is eight inches. This is a little bit less. No, that's that's very interesting. Why do I have less here? Eight inches here. So you see, this saw itself is, is really a piece of poor quality product and uh, I, I bought it really because it has got the iron casted uh, worktop and uh, I was thinking that this automatic fence will be good when you know, automatic, automatic, which means fast clamp fence, yeah, not automatic. And, uh, it's a very small motor, but uh, it's, it's still doing the job, and it's a lot of hassle. This is, this is the annoying thing about it, but anyway, I'm happy with that. The clamp is working, so so I'm going to recreate in the next video. I'm going to recreate this uh, this this thing, this guy, uh, for. Uh, my automatic clamps and uh, the good thing of this is that I can uh, open them yeah? and the construction itself is very basic and really everybody could do that at home but nobody knows what's inside until you open it yeah? so it's very simple leverage system inside and the biggest stress point is against the pin which is going through this handle and the handle itself and it's you know it's putting pressure on a few metal brackets but it's not anyway because the other things of this plastic is very cheap you see it's, it's a it's a casted plastic yeah it's a with a molding machine and that means it could be actually empty inside you don't know but yeah so that will be the next episode but this one i'm happy with this i'm happy with this it's, it's again working and uh you know, I got it for free, so I can't complain. All right, so thanks again for watching. And uh, I know it was quite cha chaotic today, but uh, that's happened when uh, when a work in progress. You know, <laughs> I, I'm enjoying this. You know, I enjoying I'm I'm enjoying this, doing that kind of jobs. And uh, uh, yeah, stay tuned and uh, give me thumbs up or thumbs down and. Uh, subscribe if you like it and support me because i really like to do it and i hope you like to do it and if you can give me some ideas what you want to see because i like to learn and uh you know i hope so you'll 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 enjoy that process of learning of mine uh so i've got hundreds of projects in my head and uh, it's just a time which is against me you know i am a full work full-time worker and i work from monday to friday and the middle of the week there's no chance i can do anything it's just i'm coming back home and i'm exhausted and i've got two kids and pff, that's two little devils so uh only weekends uh oh yeah right stay tuned thanks for watching and see you next time